Today I'll be talking about bicycling related concussions leading to post concussion syndrome in adults. So, a bit of background on this issue um, concussions among adult bicyclists and bicycling injuries are fairly common in the world of sports, but little is known about the long term effects, such as post concussion syndrome or otherwise known as PCS. Um, so, in this study, we wanted to investigate the main factors that lead to the occurrence and duration of PCS in adults after bicycling related concussions. So this was a retrospective chart review of patients seen by Dr. Tatter at Toronto Western. It included 28 patients um, and we also included a comparison group of 86 uh, adult patients who sustained a concussion playing a collision sport, which you can see listed here. Um, and these are the, the uh, information that we collected. So our main findings were at the time of the last concussion, 23 or 82% of the patients had failed to recover completely, um, meaning that they're still experiencing post-concussion syndrome symptoms. Secondly, that patients with one or more previous concussion had a significantly longer duration of PCS compared to patients with no previous concussion history. And lastly, that there was a greater duration of PCS for the bicycling group compared to the collision sports group, which we thought was fairly significant because one would expect that people who play a contact sport would have a more severe um, post-concussive syndrome. And here you can see the, uh, it's kind of hard to see, but the most prevalent symptoms were headache, fatigue, and memory problems. Um, so what can we take away from this? Is that firstly, bicycling can be dangerous and cause debilitating consequences, such as PCS. And secondly, that safe bicycling practices should be followed there should be all age helmet use legislation and that there needs to be bicycling infrastructure improvements. Thank you.